yeah it started yeah so i think uh, yeah it started so let me ask a question like when you said that uh, you want to i think uh, go for upsc because you want to join for upsc but like tell me what is the reason to go for upsc like why you want to prepare for upsc otherwise there are many options available for a person to do something if he or she wants to do something but you uh, want to go for upsc so why yeah actually now i am thinking if i will go for upsc so i have lots of um, um, i have lots of diversity to do in the society yeah yeah so that's why actually i want to work society so because of versatility uh, versatility you want to go for upsc because if you uh, go for upsc you will get uh, many things to do for the society but after all of course when you are in the upsc you if you get select uh, in the is only for ips uh, and below then uh, is you have to serve only one particular like in railway only railway in economy only economy in police only police but if you get selection in i think is then you will get i think the things that you have decided for but tell me like because many people i have uh, uh, met earlier and i know personally like uh, people are having different uh, ideas in their mind like some wants to join for irs some wants to join for uh, i think ips and then uh, some ies so what actually you want to go uh, for like upsc is a broad term union public service commission it's a commission which conducts the exam annually for the candidates to recruit for the i think uh, civil services so tell me like where which field you actually you want to uh, join like i police i think civil services like uh, of course police is civil service as well but like ias and uh, dm or something like that or you want to go for uh, ifs yeah what is it so actually i want to work in society so if i will go in ias so i have lots of diversity to do in society so that's why actually i want to go ias so we tell me like who is your inspiration like when i started the preparation and i had a exciting inspiration from many people like mahatma gandhi swami vivekananda dr apj abdul kalam these were a kind of ideal figures for me and they given me a kind of motivation to start out something in my life for me as well as for the society as a whole and these people only given me the direction like okay i'm not going to join civil services so tell me like who is your inspiration uh, for upsc for upsc if i talk about so i don't have any inspiration um, men actually i want to work in civil service so that's why that time when i was thinking i want to go uh, i want to work in say, society so that time i was searching yeah if if i want to go say society i want to work society so which uh, which um, place or which part um, give me opportunity this type of work so that time i was uh, searching so that time i have i have gotten ki if i will go uh, civil service so i can do this type yeah. of work so that's why right. yeah that's ideal a great idea like uh, you were searching for a, like how i can serve the society and you got this i think idea like okay if i were to uh, serve the society i can serve it by joining civil services and that's a great idea but tell me like uh, when i started the preparation i had personal things in my life like i personally felt the uh, miseries of the people because i'm from village and i have seen personally the things uh, uh, in the society i have suffered personally as well so that basically given me a kind of motivation like challenges that i have faced and i have seen people facing the challenges like uh, the education system is not good the rationing system is not good the electricity is not there the road the water women security girls education i, I think old 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 age uh, i think facilities are not there and other things as well many challenges uh, that i witness in the society and i came to the conclusion like if i were to resolve these things these challenges 
I should do something. So I started preparing for UPSC as well. And after the preparation of two years, I then two plus years, I found some other way to deal with that things. And then I changed my, I think, mind. But tell me, like, what are the challenges that you personally felt or have seen in the society around that made you to work for their, I think, resolution? Yeah, actually, nowadays, uh, I am saying like uh, in society, in education system, I want to work and also women empowerment and yeah, this type of things, actually, I want to work. And for okay. poverty, actually, especially like poverty. Yeah. So, yeah, you raised three points, like first, education, second, women empowerment, and third, poverty. <clears throat> so... Suppose you are a DM, you are, I think, district collector, DC district collector. So what are the five steps that you go, you are going to take for education? Like you mentioned three topics. So I'm asking about these topics. So tell me like five steps that you want to take for education. For education, first of all, uh, I will um, discuss uh, on education system, on government. Mm, what kind of problem mm, is facing mm, in education system. After that, I will mm, try to mm, action on that part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So first thing you want to, I think, uh, talk to the government and then you will take the action. But about the people who are at ground level, because it's for sure like no policy or rules and regulation are going to work unless and until we take the cooperation of the people, like the people who are at ground level. So if they don't cooperate, like uh, take think of uh, take an example of like when uh, the government in 2019, I think and 20, of course 20 and 21, they passed these three farm laws. But government has to take back because of the resistance from the farmers. So, but about the consent of the people, like uh, will you care about? Uh, they are, I think. Uh, Consent or not? Sorry, please say. Will you? Understand. Yeah. Will you consider consider the I think uh, opinions of the people or not? Like who are I think at ground level? At ground level. Yeah. Like you said, you for education, you first thing you want to do is that you want to talk to the government. Second thing you want to take the action as per the government. But I'm asking, okay. Do you cover two things like first government, then personal level, like what I, I, I will do as per according to my authority level. But you did not mention like whether you will seek the opinions or I think uh, from the people who are basically at ground level. So what will you do to bring the people with you so that the policies and the rule and regulation that you are going to, I think, uh, I think implement on ground level, they will work properly. They will bring some change. Yeah, first of all, I will see on education system like uh, nowadays, uh, actually I'm seeing many people and many um, families also don't want to um, study. Many, mm -hmm. many students actually also in this time I'm fa um, facing, many students don't want to go to study because of uh, uh, it may be, I think there is no any facility to study actually. 